Okay, hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to be talking about a, a pattern that's um, well, it's as northern as I am really. Literally, it's as Yorkshire as Yorkshire pudding. It comes from Yorkshire, and if you ask any Yorkshireman what fly it wouldn't be without, it'd be the uh, snipe and purple. Now basically, it's the most simplest fly you can you can tie really, but ultra effective. I mean, this one's a hotspot version, but the hotspot's not too clever on it. You don't really need a hotspot with it. It is. It's. See, I'm off on um, a little bit of a fishing trip today, so I've been tying up some flies. And as always, the last couple I put on. Uh, the snipe and purple, which is this, this here, as well as a whole bunch of other flies, but we'll get into them another time, so I'll get straight on with it so I can go and get myself fishy. Um, you're going to want to put your fly tying glasses on first of all, unless you don't wear glasses, but I do. Yeah. And catch it just behind the eye. Go down the body with touch turns. And well waxed there, put plenty of wax on your thread. I wouldn't stop just before the bend, I would uh, burp and cut that. A lot of people snap on, but I think if you can wrap it enough of a finger and nerve it, get a grip, then you, you, you're wasting too much thread. So, we'll come back up, and this is basically your rib as well, but it's a touch turn close rib. And right about here we take some, what we call is a pair of snipe wings, okay, I'll show you these. These are um, first night wings. Um, and they're used in many flies. No, the, the feathers we're looking for is on the underwing. You see these here. In a second. There's some here, there's not that many on. But, because they're taking a lot off them. But, these are the these are the feathers we're looking at. And basically you catch it in with a tip good side to yourself and create a little catching point there. And secure it on one, two, three. Fold this bit back. and I just nip it off and I'll try it if it's on strong enough and then take a hackle plier because it's a tiny hackle and fold all the ratchets back and take your first turn it has quite a sparse hackle there so give you a first turn um, pull them back, another three, four should do it, Again, you should be able to snap that off. If it pulls your hackle out, you know you've not tied it on tight enough, basically. And take these out just for tidy it up a bit. And I think, I think the way it passes is, it kind of goes on a, a spider pattern, really. I remember, actually, I'm sure there was an advert uh, when you used to be able to advertise cigarettes. 
which is from a head here when you used to advertise cigarettes um, for a famous brand of cigarette I think there's something to do with silk and a coat I'm not sure but um, this particular fly was used in the advertisement believe it or not anyway we're going to form a little tiny head here there's a description of all the materials in the drop down in the menu thing there. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, and it is a it's, it's a good all rounder you can use it pretty much anywhere try it for some reason it's just one of them flyers that work so I'm going to finish it it has quite a big head for some reason that's just not my bad sign it, it, I deliberately give it a big head So, I'm going to put a drop of varnish on its head and that's pretty much it, you see. I mean, you can fill a box in the morning and go fishing the same day. Your granddad would have said something like, that can't catch a fish with a piece of fluff on a string, lad, but it's the mud. You need to dig a worm up at it, grand. A bit more northern than me, but there you go. So, a dot of varnish on its head. And that's the snipe from purple, or purple and snipe. If you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. I'm pretty much sure there's a couple here, around here, and here, and here. Uh, some videos you can click to, uh, or subscribe. If you click that circle in the middle, you'll subscribe. Uh, press the little bell icon and you know you'll, you'll not miss any other videos that I've got in the future. Like I say, thanks for watching. Tight lines and stay safe, people. Oops, you don't really want that to happen. I mean, don't worry, you can trim them out. It happens. And the, the eye, you just put a um, pin down there or something, you know, a bod can or ostrich hair or anything. I'll just separate them up. Like I said, thanks for watching. It is a bit scruffy, it's a little bit scruffy, but I assure you, it is a great fly.